How's it going everybody? David Crandall here with FL Studio School. A couple weeks ago, I posted on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash FL Studio School, and I asked if people were getting tired of picking up noise in their microphones from their computer, specifically fan noise. And I told people it's really easy and cheap to eliminate and get rid of some of that noise. I went ahead and made some purchases and I'm gonna show you how you can eliminate or at least reduce a lot of the fan noise. And the best way to do this is to replace the fans. Okay, so the first thing we have is this beast. This is what is going to be replacing my CPU heatsink and fan. This is the Noctua, Noctua NH-U9V-SE2. This is one of the cheaper Noctua fans and heatsinks and it runs a little over $50. Fairly cheap for what you're getting. And this thing is huge. If you decide to go with one of these, be sure that your case will have enough space. Uh, I don't have the exact dimensions, but you can find the dimensions online. I ordered these from Newegg and they do have the exact dimensions, so you can make sure that your computer case will be able to handle this. Now I'm not gonna show you how to install this today because it has specific instructions for both Intel boards and, and CPUs and AMD boards and CPUs. It's different for each, and I only have one, so I'm not going to be biased or and try to just show one and not the other. But what I will tell you is that it comes with two sets of specific instructions for each one. Um, one thing you'll need to keep in mind is if you're using an AMD board, you will need an AMD backplate. A lot of motherboards come with them, but if you don't know if you have one or you don't have one, I'd recommend ordering one. They're not very expensive. Uh, next thing we have are the Noctua fans. These are 120 millimeter fans, however you can get these in various different sizes. This will be replacing the exhaust fan in the back, and I will also be putting a second one in the front so I can improve the airflow of my machine. So. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll show you how to install the fans on this and I will also show you how to install one of the fans on this CPU because it's a little bit confusing. Um, so I will show you how to do that. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Noctua NH1 U9B SE2. I'm just going to show you what it comes with. Uh, it comes with quite a bit. Um, first, it comes with two of these fans. I've already got one installed on one side, um, but it comes with two 90 millimeter fans. Uh, it comes with four of these metal strips, which are actually used to attach the fans to the heatsink. Uh, right here, if you can see, it might be difficult to see, but there's little uh, rubber strips, which is actually going to help eliminate vibration caused by the fan. Um, it comes with an AMD and Intel set, depending on what you have, what board or CPU you have. I'm using the AMD set, so I have that out right now. And then it comes with a bunch of accessories, and I'll go ahead and show you what's in the accessories bag. Uh, first, we have this Y adapter, so if you're using two fans, you can connect both of the fan cables into the adapter and just use the one CPU fan uh, plug on your motherboard. Next we have uh, a couple of speed adapters. So what these do is they lower the amount of power that your fans can use. So if you're using the black, you're going to be using a little bit less power, um, which is going to create less noise. And then if you use blue, it, you're going to be using a lot less power which is going to create a lot less noise. Now the only downside is, is if you have a very, very uh, crowded PC or your PC tends to run hot or whatever, if you're not getting good airflow, it might not be a good idea to use these because one, these fans are fairly quiet as they are, but decreasing the power and fan speed will decrease the amount of cooling that you get, which again, if your PC runs hot, can be dangerous for your CPU. Next are more adapters. This is regular fan speed. We have some thermal compound, uh, which goes in between the 
heat sink and the actual processor so when you use this uh, just wipe the thermal compound that's already on your CPU off with some kind of towel or something, something that's static free and um, just put one little glob of it on, stick it on and then you're ready to go. Um, I've got some mounts, some screws, um, and this little screwdriver. As promised, I'm going to show you how to attach a fan to the heatsink. Um, I've already done one side as you can see, so I'll show you how to do the other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this on its side. Okay. The first thing we need to do is attach these rubber strips right here. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and attach them right at the edge here along this, this edge. First, what I'm actually going to do, and I'm doing this kind of the opposite of what the instructions say, but this worked a lot easier for me, uh, is I'm going to place the fan right there. And there's this little ridge, and we'll stick the bar right in there. And I'll hold on to it as best I can. And you want to get this little elbow in the hole on the fan. So we'll go... There we go. There's one side, and then just do the other side. And there we go. And so I will turn this around and do the other side. Same exact thing. Stick this right in here. And there we go. So you can see the elbows fit right in the hole right there. The instructions for whatever reason are from a top view like this. And it doesn't really give you much of an idea on how these are supposed to be inserted. On the instructions, it looks like the little piece right here sticking out is under the hole. So it's really confusing. So that's pretty much how you attach the fans to the CPU cooler. So before you actually go installing this massive thing onto your motherboard, um, one thing you're want going to want to have is a PC toolkit. Now what these have they're not, they don't just have, you know, the this, this basic screwdriver and screw bits and stuff like that. But one of the most important things that they have is this. Now what this is, is a static wristband. What you would do is essentially attach this to your wrist and then attach this to a nice large piece of metal. Um, and what this will do is it will ground you and keep you from shocking the motherboard with static with your hands. So you're actually going to be touching all this intricate circuitry to install the fan, so you want to be sure to have this so you don't destroy any part of your motherboard that will effectively destroy your entire machine. So I've got my wristband on, I've got my PC wide open and ready to go. Uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do, however, is clean the computer out. Now I've already done this today, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. Essentially, you get some canned air, and you spray. Spray your fans, just kind of get the dust out. So, once you've done that, you've got everything going here. Now, it's time to get started. First thing is we're going to have to detach our computer fan. So, there's a cable running from the fan going into the motherboard. So I'm just going to grab the plastic part and just pull. And there we go, it's unplugged. Now, we want to unscrew the fan. For this particular fan, the screws can be found right in the back here. It is a Phillips head, so we need our Phillips screwdriver. And we will go ahead and begin unscrewing. There we go. Noisy fan has now been removed. Next thing we need to do is install our Noctua fan. Before I pull it out, I'll go ahead and show you what's, what all is in here. Uh, we have a power cable, some screws, um, the actual fan cable, the black cable right there. Um, and then we have these four rubber screws. And these are to reduce noise. However, if you find these too difficult or impossible to install, you can still use the metal screws that it comes with. 
So we'll go ahead and open this up. Now, with this fan, we're actually going to have our air flowing out. Now, there's two ways to determine how this is done. You could go by the blades and everything like that. But Noctua, I don't know if you could see this, they have little arrows right here uh, showing you which direction the blades will be spinning and which direction the air will be blowing. So you can see the logo side, the air will be coming out. So we'll have the logo side facing the outer part of the case. Okay. So, we have these little rubber screws, and we're going to try to just push it through, like so, okay, and then while holding it in place, I'm just going to keep pulling, and almost got it, there we go. Now, that's one screw. Now we just do this for all of these. Okay, so the fan is installed nice and securely. What we're going to do is, remember I had mentioned that our CPU cooler came with these adapters, and there's another one that this comes with, but this is actually lower noise. So I'm going to attach it to the plug. Here we go, wrong side. And there it is and we'll plug it back in. Now the one thing I'm always trying to be cautious about is cable management, um, and essentially what that is is making sure that there aren't too many cables that are gonna interrupt airflow. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can twist the actual cable, and you can see it kind of jumbles up, and you can plug it straight in. Or what I'm gonna do this time, since this is such a long cable, is just wrap it around the fan, like so and then plug it in to the fan header right here. And there we go, fan installed. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll install the CPU cooler and we'll do our final sound test. Anyway, that's how to make your computer quieter for less than $100. If you want to take it a step further, you can buy, actually buy yourself a new computer case that has soundproof material in it, and even get a new power supply that is not only modular, unlike this, see all these cables? Modular essentially lets you pick and choose the cables that are gonna go on your computer. But not only get one that improves airflow that way, but also one that doesn't turn on the fan until it reaches a certain load. So that's gonna give you a lot less noise. So that about wraps it up. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash School. And for more tutorials, uh, music, computer reviews, all that kind of stuff, subscribe, like this video, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, let me know. Take care, bye.